Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to see together how to create an Azure SQL database. First step is you go to your um, homepage on the portal uh, and the URL is portal.azure.com. So once you are on your homepage, you click here on create a resource. And here you are going to search for Azure SQL and select Azure SQL then you go to you are in the marketplace and you will you will have a list of resources available so you select Azure SQL so here you just check that so you just have one plan which is called Azure SQL so just click on create here we are going to select the plan to use for the service and we want a SQL database, not a SQL managed instance, nor a SQL virtual machine. So you just make sure it's on single database because we do not want to create an elastic pool or a, a database server. For this database, we'll have to create the server, but it will be in the process of creating the database. So you click on create. And here you, you, we are uh, in the basics tab and it's the main page for creating a, a SQL database on Azure. So by default you have your Azure subscription that is uh, selected. You might want to select another one. And we have no resource groups. So you need to click on create new. And I'm just going to call it SQL training because it will be used as a kind of sandbox to play with Azure services. Now you go to the database details section and here you need to enter a database name. So I'm just calling it expert only DB. So you need to check that uh, everything is, is clean. So And so we don't have a, a server on this subscription, so we need to create a new server. So the server will be expert only server. So everything good. Okay, so I'm just going to change the location because uh, I want, I'm in Europe, so I want to, the database to be closest. So I select North Europe and you need to select uh, the closest location um, available. Uh, to the users of the database uh, the server. So uh, as you can see, this is the server name and uh, the full server name will be like that, expertonlyserver.database.windows.com. So this is how you will access the server from uh, outside Azure. Now we are going to configure the authentication. We are going to select the only um, the SQL authentication so I'm going to be very original on that one. So I'm going to call it um, admin um, DB. So as you can see, admin is forbidden uh, because uh, it's a uh, reserved keyword. So it doesn't let uh, generic uh, keywords like that to be used as uh, logins. So I'm just going to type uh, a complex password here and that's it. You click on OK to validate your authentication. So now we are in database details again and we do not want to use the elastic pool. This is a little bit too much for what I want to do with this um, sandbox uh, database. So I'm going to change this configuration, so I'm going to select the, the basic um, option. So we have two things, we have the vCore based model and the DTU based model, so I'm going to select the basic and we will have only two gigabytes which is perfectly fine for what I want to do. Here you have a link to compare all services if you want to know more about uh, higher usage uh, options. So we'll have only two gigabytes and five DTUs, which is good for me. 
Okay, so I apply. I just want a locally redundant backup. And that's it for the for the project details. Once we have done that, we can go to networking. And we want it to be accessible by with, uh, using a public endpoint. Uh, meaning we want to access it from outside as well. We're going to select for the firewall rules, we're going to select yes and yes because we want as a services um, to access the server and we want uh, to add my current IP address to the server, to the firewall. So, uh, here we go, so we don't touch this, we keep it as TLS 1.2. So now we go to the second tab, which is security. In security, we do not touch, we don't want to use uh, Defender for SQL. We do not want to activate any um, service. And then we go to additional settings. And here we want to have a sample database that is restored directly in our newly created database. So it will add the Adventure Works uh, Lite version of the database, of the sample database in our database. So we'll have uh, sample data um, very easily with this option. Then we do not want to create tags, so we can just create, uh, select, sorry, review plus create. And here you have all the information that we entered previously, all the options selected. And, and here it's a very interesting option. If you can see here, you, you have the possibility to download a template for automation. So that is what we are going to do. So I just click here. And here you have a JSON uh, file. From the drawer. Uh, that you can just copy paste or you have here the option to, to download and also to add to the library so you can just uh, save it so i'm going to download the file uh, to keep it and uh, with this option we will have the possibility to recreate the very same um, uh, database and server and everything we just created now uh, using the script so it will be much faster you can also create uh, autom automatic deployments. So we go back now to create the SQL database. Now that we reviewed everything, we can just click on create. And now we have the process of creating the database that is uh, running. We can um, hide the, the, the left sidebar. And we have to wait a few minutes and um, all the objects will be created automatically. So after a while, you see um, the steps being um, successful and you have the full list now. I think you will just have one uh, last one, which is the database itself because I suppose uh, the system creates all the other resources, the server, uh, the firewall rules, the authentication to the server, and then uh, the database. Okay, so we are good to go. We have everything uh, good, we have the pop-up, so the deployment of the database to the SQL training resource group was successful. So you have two links here, one to go to the resource, one to go to the resource group. Um, here you have the, the steps that are uh, finished. And that's it. So you have uh, a newly created database. And to connect to this database, you just click on go to resource and you will be redirected directly to the, to the database. And here you have the overview. And to go and check the tables uh, in the database, you have you need to select query editor. So you need to connect to uh, using the authentication method you provided. So in my case, it was 
uh, SQL authentication. So I'm just copying the, the password. I click on OK. And now you can see, so we can make the, the left bar um, shrink and also this side, um, the Explorer. So as you can see, it's much more simpler than in uh, an on-premise uh, database uh, using uh, SQL Server Management Studio. But you have three object types here. You have the tables, the views, and the stored procedures. And here you can go and do a first query. Let's say we want to display the customers from the AdventureWorks Live database because that's the, the database we had um, stored here and you can just select uh, select top 1000 star from the customer table and you click on run and here it should have some data so as you can see um, here we have we have a, an, info, an info box, let's say, information saying that it's only showing a limited object uh, explorer here, and to have the full capacity, we need to click uh, here to open the Azure Data Studio. To do that, so you, you go to this page and you need to download Azure Data Studio. You will be able to have much more um, possibilities from your laptop, from your computer to Azure uh, SQL databases.